When choosing a cloud provider to run your enterprise mission-critical workloads, such as Oracle eBusiness Suite, there are four things to consider. Performance and predictability. Your cloud provider should provide performance and manageability SLAs, guaranteeing that services are not oversubscribed or over-provisioned. Deployment and migration options. The ability to choose between public, private, and hybrid cloud with support for automated lifecycle management of Oracle eBusiness Suite's application and underlying database and infrastructure. A flat network topology or isolated network virtualization, which takes network and I.O. virtualization off of the server stack. Security. A security-first design which reduces the risk from hypervisor is resilient to firmware-based attacks and provides a defense-in-depth approach from server all the way to comprehensive edge services. In today's workshop, we will learn why Oracle Cloud is the best place to run Oracle eBusiness Suite. Let's take a look at the demo and find out what is so unique about Oracle's approach. In this demonstration, we will show you how customers can easily migrate existing on-premise EBS applications into Oracle Cloud infrastructure. You will see how customers are experiencing easy migration tools to move EBS applications as opposed to rewriting applications into proprietary path services. You'll see how you can leverage Terraform scripting to provision underlying infrastructure and networking resources. Finally, you'll see how you can accelerate dev and test cycles by leveraging Oracle's Cloud Manager to assist in migration efforts rather than starting from scratch. Now the first step is to prepare the environment and create the infrastructure resources. Imagine that we have John, an infrastructure architect who's looking to move his retail company's EBS application into Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. The first step in this process is to automate the provisioning of the underlying infrastructure through Terraform scripting. John will run scripts to create compartments, groups, and network resources to support the greater EBS application. The second step is to use the EBS Cloud Manager to provision the EBS environment. Now, by using the EBS Cloud Manager instance from Oracle's Cloud Marketplace, we'll provision the EBS instance in its entirety. This will include a VM at the app tier and a database to support the backend. But in order to make this application highly resilient, we'll want to have multiple VMs at the application tier with a load balancer distributing traffic between the two. Again, this can be accomplished and provisioned from the Oracle EBS Cloud Manager. With that being said, let's move on to the technical portion of this workshop. Now, the first step in this process is to provision all underlying infrastructure and network resources. This is going to be accomplished through Terraform scripting, specifically within the Stack Manager in the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Console. As you can see here, I've already deployed our Terraform scripts and provisioned everything from users, compartments, groups, policies, and even the underlying virtual cloud network that will support the EBS application when it is provisioned. The next step is to deploy the EBS Cloud Manager from Oracle Cloud Infrastructure's Marketplace. Once deployed, I can access this Compute instance from the Compute Console within Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. From here, I then access the EBS Suite Cloud Manager environment, where I can actually provision the entire EBS application as a whole. Now, within the Oracle eBusiness Suite Cloud Manager, there is a huge differentiator present, specifically the ability to have one-click provisioning of an entire eBusiness Suite environment. This is a unique capability to Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. Now, outside of one-click provisioning, there are a number of other differentiators that Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, and specifically our eBusiness Suite environments, have. One of those is our fast cloning capability. Now, we're talking about the ability to clone an EBS environment in its entirety in minutes rather than hours. Now, once the EBS instance itself has been provisioned from the EBS Cloud Manager, we then need to distribute traffic between the two virtual machines that support the application tier. This can be accomplished with Oracle Cloud Infrastructure's load balancer service. In this instance, I've selected a round robin algorithm to distribute traffic between the two virtual machines. Now to review, we've provisioned all underlying network and infrastructure resources. We've provisioned an Oracle EBS Cloud Manager instance and deployed an EBS application in its entirety. Finally, we distribute traffic between the two virtual machine nodes. As we have seen in this demonstration, Oracle Cloud Infrastructure is the best place to run Oracle eBusiness Suite. By moving to OCI, you will realize a lower total cost of ownership as opposed to running on-premises or in other clouds. 
Some of our customers are saving 38% versus running on-premises and 44% versus running in other clouds. Superior performance backed by SLAs. Our unique non-oversubscribed network and single tenant offerings like bare metal and exit data ensure consistent performance and they're backed by both manageability and performance SLAs. Automated migration and lifecycle management is very unique to Oracle. The EBS Cloud Manager is available only for workloads that run in the Oracle Cloud and will help you streamline migration and ongoing lifecycle management options for your eBusiness Suite environment. And finally, our cloud was designed from the ground up with security in its DNA. This includes supply chain security, firmware that is resistant to malware attacks, encryption by default everywhere, and enterprise services such as next generation web application firewalls, identity and access management, and cloud access security brokers. We hope that you enjoyed today's demonstration and we look forward working with you and bringing one of your workloads into OCI.